Okay, so now I'm going to come back in with the blues. I've mixed up this dark navy blue again. And I'm just going to try and make some of these hole shapes in here. So I'm just going to do that um, and just sort of get, try and create that kind of pattern a little bit. Just kind of make it a bit more interesting up here. And then just bring in these squares a bit. If it's almost just glaze over a little bit in this corner. Darken it up a bit. using a stronger blue here to create these so that you can kind of see them working on top of there. I might do a bit of that on here as well. It's kind of give that break up this area. Now what I want to do as well is create a little bit more definition to these these leaves. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of the blues around the petal area here to just give that a little bit more shape. Bring that a little bit darker in there as well so you can see that's the edge of the rose. Again, it's, you don't want it to be too, I kind of don't want to go in with a very small brush here, I want to keep it light and keep those kind of um, bold brush marks. I think I'm going to define the edge of this lip here a little bit as well. that dark dark green bring that in there because I wasn't really happy with the shape of that so let's squint and look at those, those shadows going can always drop kind of a little bit of white as well 
I've got too much on my brush to define that with that kind of cool green perhaps a little bit of a cooler very light white green just drop that onto the handle that's it keep it keep it looking three-dimensional um, final points really I think on this that's that same kind of light green in there on that leaf um, I think I might just define some of these chevrons a little bit I really again really like using this square brush but you might want to use a smaller one for this Um, this bit looks a little bit like it needs a bit more detail on the leaves as well because I've just sort of suggested this bud popping out here. I don't know if I really want to paint it in. I just kind of quite like the freeness of this, having it suggested these buds really. You could probably go into more detail because it's a fun bit now really. You can just go for it and put in as much detail as you want to or not or come into it with a, with a more detailed brush. But as I say, I think I'm... I'm kind of all for just keeping it free. I mean, I might suggest some of these leaves in here. That there are more than that, rather than just leaving it in the shapes. So let's just pop in. To find that so that it's a bit more... You can see that there are more leaves here. It and I think I want to come in with that really dark again, that dark blue green, into in next to this bud so that it really pops. I think what I'm going to do is define the edge of the jug. I'll just perhaps do it with the chevrons to get it so that it's quite thick and just move them against the edge of the rose. around a little bit more it might be nice to define the edge of this using the blue a bit more just to get the fact that that's actually part of the jug because it's sort of a little bit too abstract for me I think and then get the green using the green to cover the shadow underneath but that's it really I don't want to do too much more there we go and probably a little bit in terms of final touches. I don't know whether or not it's a green. It's more of an orange on this because it's an actual old. Um, it's a a golden a golden pot. So I, I have actually got some gold, and what would be really nice would be to use a bit of gold there. And I might just tidy up around that rose a bit, put a few details into the centre of it. So. But just suggest that kind of the rim of it. Just with a bit of broken colour along here. And perhaps use this old gold for the inside as well of the um of the rose. Just make it a little bit darker. Could probably add a little bit of the crimson to it to just I mean you could do this with the greens as well. I might and then use that blue green for a few details inside the rose itself we go defining that a little bit more so it's kind of a bluish edge it's funny little details like this just make it pop don't they Really look at those colours. Really that light on the edge there, it comes against that green, doesn't it? I 
just bring that in even though it isn't bring that dark green around because it looks so nice against the orange okay I think I'm getting a bit faffy with it now yeah quite like that okay 